Hello and welcome to the Way TV Charity Network. I'm Mary Crowley. You know, in January of 2014, the Way TV went to Park City's Utah to be part of the Sundance Film Festival. We had such an amazing time there. There were so many different films that were being screened and, and people that were there. And I interviewed so many different actresses and producers, directors, and even publicists. And you're going to hear and see some of those clips today. You're going to see that such an amazing group of people has come to Hollywood and be a part of the new renaissance that's taking place in film and part of what the Wade TV Charity Network is doing around the world. The booth was Arlene and Chris from Los Angeles. And they just are just amazing people because they're, all, they're believers in Jesus, which, you know, we're in this place and there's a lot of people that don't believe. So, in the, so Arlene, you're an actress, is that right? I am. Yes. So what have you been in up till now? Oh, let me see. Uh, things that would be recognizable, I think, Eat, Pray, Love, Crash. Um, you were in Crash? Yes, uh, the TV show in Stars. So that was the first season of Crash. Also, Torchwood. Torchwood was also on Stars. That was a good, great show. A little crazy, but it was very good, very well done. So, Chris, you're mostly a musician right now, but you've also been into uh, on TV before. Is that correct? Yeah, I uh, produced and hosted a TV series called The Drive TV uh, that aired around the world. It was really, really fun, a road trip series. And then uh, the last six years, yeah, it is cool. And that aired on JCTV? Yeah, JCTV and a handful of other networks around the world. Um, and, and that got into quite a few homes. What would you think was the uh, populace that saw them? Gosh, I honestly don't know exactly. I mean, I know it's a, a matter of, you know, hundreds of millions of potential viewers. So um, we got some really great feedback from, uh, from actual viewers of the show. And uh, it was fun to hear that, like, you know, the show is actually meaning something to people and they were getting something out of it, you know. And I was speaking with you just a few minutes ago and you said you actually went to Bible school. Is that correct? Yeah, I did a, a year of school uh, up at Bethel Church. Um, a few years ago. It was a really great experience to really learn that who I am has value and meaning and that uh, like I'm worthy to be loved. So Chris, what kind of music, what kind of music are you, uh, you doing right now? Uh, I'm a folk singer-songwriter, um, so I love performing. I love writing songs about my life, about uh, I don't know, the good things, the bad things, and everything in between. And, uh, you know, I love how music can bring life to people. You know, it can bring joy to them. It can bring out the emotions that maybe have been hidden for a long time. Uh, so we just saw a movie, our favorite, well, my favorite, I'll speak for myself, documentary I have ever seen. And it's called Alive Inside. It was wonderful. It speaks about how music affected and changed the lives and almost revived patients that have dementia and Alzheimer's and the product what they're using iPods and a person's personal playlist from when they were growing up and how you see these people come to life and their memory come back where did you see this at this was here in Sundance yes it's one of oh the my films, goodness one of the films here in the in the festival it's wonderful well, see and this is the thing people that music and movies can really make an impact on people because I know different people in my family, my older, you know, my grandma and different ones that had Alzheimer's and it changed their mind, you know, and they started seeing them deteriorate slowly and slowly. And so this was about where they saw a change through that actually they got better? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely better. Up to 30 to 50% improvement. And it was through music? Through music. You, I would recommend it to everyone. It's probably going to come out pretty soon. I'm sure somebody's going to buy it. Alive Inside. Okay, so now you guys being Christians, you know, you're here in Sundance, and I know there's a lot of people. In fact, I just interviewed the owner of the, you know, the president and founder of the Way TV Network about some people told him that he shouldn't come here, you know, because, oh, it's worldly. It's something that you shouldn't do. What would you say as a Christian what are you seeing impacting culture with the media and with music? Well, Jesus was worldly. He went into the deepest, darkest places, and he hung out with people that were lost. And I, last time I checked, he said, follow my example. No? So. Well, yeah, they tried to say he was a drunkard and a wine bibber and hung out with all the, the sinners, but that he said that they need a physician. I came to heal them. I think he would have been at Sundance. <laughs> <laughs> what if he is here? Uh, yeah. 
He is here. What about you, Chris? What would you say to those naysayers that said you shouldn't be at Sundance because there's too many worldly carnal people there? Oh, I think everyone needs love, and I think God is love. I also think that creativity is a very godly thing, and I think that uh, when it comes to making films, you're not going to find any better filmmakers than the people that are here. And so I, I think as, as people that follow Jesus, like I, I think making a Christian movie or a Christian song or a Christian TV show, that's fine. Um, but are you doing it with quality? You know, like I, I think I think if we if we believe we have God inside of us and God is the author of creation, I think that uh, I think that if our movies, if our songs, if our artwork is is subpar, I think there's probably something wrong with that. And we need to look at like, where am I getting my inspiration from? Is it out of religion or is it out of like true creativity from God's perspective? Well, you know, I'm just getting a download right now, Chris, in particular, and I think you have it too, Arlene. I want you to look right at the camera. I feel that you have a prophetic voice, that you have something to say and that there's some young men in particular that are gonna watch you, that I believe that you have a, a prophetic word for them. I haven't done this with anybody here at Sundance, but I feel that you carry it. So what would you say to that one watching? I just feel that you have a message. What would that be? Look right at the camera. Yeah. Well, I, I think, I mean, very briefly, before six years ago, I never sang a single note. I never wrote a single lyric. Um, it was out of a moment with God where some people spoke into my life and said, like, I really feel like you're meant to be a singer and a songwriter. So. I think there is stuff inside of us that we might not even know is there. And uh, those dreams that you have that you feel like you're not capable of accomplishing them, um, you can. Um, I'm proof of that. Like every time I'm on a stage singing songs that I've written, I'm blown away by uh, how awesome life can be and how unexpected things can happen in a moment. And so uh, don't give up. Like keep pursuing those things that feel impossible because it's, it's not impossible. It's never impossible. And Arlene, I feel you have a word too. What would you say? Oh, I would say that uh, God is the ultimate creator, but I believe we are all called to create. And now is a time, an era where when people, even if they get educated, you're not guaranteed a job, but those that are visionaries and are creative and are using their imagination and taking different paths, that's what I encourage nowadays, especially in the youth, to really... Sometimes education has stifled imagination and creativity, but I'm just calling it out in all of you to create and enjoy and be imaginative because I believe that's what God did. And here we are. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. And I'll just tell you the name of my show is Now is the Time. And now is the time that you need to awaken to your destiny and follow what the Lord is calling you to do and awaken to take the culture for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Thanks for coming, Chris and Arlene. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Way TV Charity Network. Wasn't those some great interviews with such talented actresses and musicians and, you know, there was producers and people that just want to make a difference in the media today. You know, if you have an event or a premiere or something that you would like the Way TV Charity to come and be a part of, and let us know if you like the program or want to be a part of an up-and-coming event. Thanks for watching the Wade TV Charity Network, and hope to see you soon.